It's 6.30 in the morning and these solar night lights are still running. This one is my new one. This is a 1 watt LED. One of these uh, Aniloop batteries. And this actually is a birdhouse, a plastic birdhouse. I have the 1 watt LED in the back here. And the other side, these are bright white LEDs. There's six of them. And on the top is a pair of solar panels, say uh, one watt each. One solar panel runs this one here. The other solar panel runs the front. So this has been on all night. And... I'm just trying out uh, different types of LED. So even though the 1 watt LED can draw about 300 something milliamps, um, it can still be it can still be run by one any loop. This is like 3.3 to 3.7 watt. Uh, volt uh, forward voltage drop and the other ones are um, 20 milliamps each six of them and 3.3 volt voltage uh, drop forward voltage drop and both of these uh, run by a QX5252 chip. There are actually two sets of uh, circuits in there. One runs the back, the other runs the front. So, 6.30 in the morning, almost daybreak. One watt LED is, is a decent light is is not overly bright, but it's uh, it's working out. For those who's interested in making the QX five two five two F based solar light. You can get the chip uh, very inexpensively. Uh, you can get 50 of them actually for $4.19 with a $2 shipping. Or you can get 10 of them for a couple of dollars. But you still have to pay $2 shipping. Now I'm just going to draw a very simple diagram as to how the chip works. Um, basically, I have in my other videos the uh, steps to um, assemble the solar light on the small circuit board, but it is very simple, basically. You have your chip here, QX5252F. There's an E version uh, that is a different configuration. It is the uh, DIP-8. It's uh, slightly different. This one has four lakes. And uh, over here, this lake on your left connects to your solar panel. Positive. And this lake here connects to your battery. Your 1.5 volt battery. It could be a double A or a triple A. I use the Aniloop type rechargeable ones. And then the third lake is the ground or negative for all your connections. So your solar positive goes to here and your, your solar negative goes here. And the fourth leg 
is for your connection to your LED, the plus side. So your LED negative side would also go on the third leg here. LED negative. Okay. And you need one more thing, or actually two more. You need an inductor like this. Uh, this one is a 47 micro Henry. You can try different ones and you connect them to two and four. Okay, so there's your inductor here. You connect it to the second leg and the fourth leg. And you might also need, or you need actually, a switching dial. The one that I use is a 1N 4148 and you have the black band of the of the um, dial towards the positive of your LED so you solder this on to your QX5252 and that's it your battery negative again uh, connects to the third leg here and uh, the other thing you have to be concerned about is uh, the uh, the size of a solar panel. I use like a five volt solar panel, and the maximum voltage handling of the uh, of the uh, QX5252 is 5.5 volt and 0.8 amp at the input there so um, you can use a solar panel um, up to I guess 800 milliamps but uh, don't go higher too much higher on the voltage because I try using two uh, too good size solar panel to drive this and, and actually uh, uh, made it not work or um, made it malfunction. So you can use like a 5 volt or 200 milliamp solar panel. Um, okay, the other thing is um, the output of the chip would be, it would be actually pulsed. And um, it can output from 3 milliamps to 300 milliamps. I was using a 1 watt LED, which actually, actually can draw 370 milliamps at 3.7 volt. So this actually uh, is a little out of spec, but it was able to drive the 1 watt LED at a uh, dimmer output and then um, the working voltage is 0.9 volt to 1.5 volt that means if your battery goes below 0.9 volt you'll shut off your solar light and um, the uh, turning on of the solar light is when your solar panel voltage is uh, is below 0.22 volt it turns on the LED when it senses uh, that the uh, voltage is 0.3 volt it shuts off the LED so uh, how you put together this solar light is extremely easy and it's cheap and you can experiment with uh, how many LEDs you attach to it. I was able to uh, power seven or eight LEDs, uh, the three mm bright white kind uh, that has a voltage drop of 3.3 .3 volts uh, and draws 
20 milliamps so I can connect like seven or eight of them actually and uh, YouTuber Mr. Freddy1w has a video on uh, making the solar light as well as uh, using the chip to charge a AA battery so you can watch this video and uh, good luck making your own solar light